is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, March the 14th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. And before I forget it, we have the last uh, First Alert Storm Team meeting at uh, Calera uh, at Burton Campers this coming Tuesday. So if you get a chance to come out and say hello, we'll be there from 4 to 6.30 p.m. On the surface map, we have a bit of a... Uh, surface low moving through the Mid-South area, and that uh, should help to create a little bit of a drying trend for central Alabama at the upper atmosphere. We have a bit of a trough that's just off to our west that will be moving by, and that will help to uh, dry things out as well. Uh, on the surface map, we're looking at uh, the wedge being finally pushed off to the east. We had a nice cold air dam situation yesterday where uh, the cold air came in, and we... Uh, Parts of uh, east central Alabama didn't get out of the 40s, so it was a rather coolish kind of day uh, with lots of clouds around. It looks like clouds will stick around much of today, but we will see a few breaks in them. We may see a few isolated showers across the area from Birmingham northward this morning and maybe even some light drizzle. But after that, I think we might see some uh, breaks in the clouds this afternoon with the sun poking through. And for uh, much of central Alabama, we're going to get into the upper 60s and lower 70s for the afternoon highs. QPF for the next five days looks uh, relatively uh, dry uh, until we get out to about midweek, and that's when the next uh, reasonably sh good shot of weather will come our way. Storm Prediction Center is outlooking a marginal risk area along the southeast U.S. coast from the Carolina coast and uh, the Outer Banks down uh, along to southeast Georgia and down into the vicinity of Savannah and just to the north of Jacksonville. On day two, there are no thunderstorms forecast, so it looks like we're going to have some dry weather. All right, let's get to the 060 GFS model on it. And there is the upper air chart for today at midday. And we can see the trough coming across the Ohio River Valley. And once again, that should help to uh, uh, dry us out finally after uh, over a week of rather wet weather. Uh, so I think by uh, afternoon, we may see a few peaks at the sun. The trough moves on by. And we come under uh, a bit of a weak ridging temporarily on uh, Sunday, and uh, that should uh, bring a surface high pressure into the area, so we should be dry and should see a pretty good day with a good uh, amount of sunshine. We see a nice ridge coming in to the area, building in on Monday, and that ridge stays with us on Tuesday, although it's beginning to dampen down just a little bit. And then on Wednesday, we see that a nice little short wave is coming out of the southern Rockies, and that... Short wave uh, should uh, bring us another chance for rain. I think Tuesday we should stay uh, dry for the most part, but then I think Wednesday the moisture increases, or late Tuesday the moisture increases, and we see the showers uh, develop again for Wednesday for the middle of the week. And uh, that uh, trough moves by fairly quickly, but I think it uh, will allow the uh, showers to continue into Thursday, ending during the day on Thursday. And that brings a ridge into the picture for Friday, but that's a rather quick ridge. As you can see, there's a nice little short wave over the uh, Four Corners area. And uh, that's associated with some precipitation, which should be moving our way on Saturday as that short wave comes out across the lower Mississippi River Valley on Saturday, the 21st. And that once again returns us to the possibility of some showers, especially by the latter part of Saturday. We may start the day out dry, but uh, end up with some showers by late in the day. And it looks like probably into Sunday. Going out into voodoo country, and uh, we see a nice ridge, uh, so a nice warm period around the 25th, but it doesn't last real long time. Uh, the pattern stays relatively active as we see another fairly uh, substantial trough over the eastern half of the country around the 28th, and that one certainly has the look of a, a fairly cold look to it, uh, but uh, that means maybe some uh, severe weather potential for the 27th, 28th time frame. Again, out into voodoo country, we're, we're getting out there where the timing may vary a little bit, uh, plus or minus a little bit. So we'll be watching the trends primarily, and the trend is that we may have some active weather. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this uh, Saturday morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for uh, notes and updates on the ever-changing Alabama weather.